Okay, so let's try that again, shall we? With maybe a bit less dying. On our part, anyway. What are those guys are doing? So I think what we'll do is we'll actually steal this car and then move it somewhere safe, like over here. I'm going to put it out of the way, because like, the thing is those bunts that come along, they get in the car. I think we get in the car wherever it is on the map. So if we put it somewhere where there are loads of cops and the agents, they're going to take them out before they can get in the car. And hence we can keep the car. Rather than it being blown up with the um, unguided in. That makes sense. Hopefully though, we should be able to keep the first car. Oh, okay, not going that way. The, uh, the, the military car or whatever it is. Okay. So that worked. Uh, is there any more punks to come and attack him? Uh, okay. Let's go, Professor. Yeah. Is this going to work or are we just going to fail miserably? Really, really don't know here. Keep moving. This is really cool though, I don't think I, I really looked at this uh, when I played it. Did we play this level twice as the Syndicate? I can't remember. Uh, but like when we played it because this is like this is a pretty cool structure you don't see anything this complicated well you don't see many many areas this that look this good in syndicate wars like the that have been this uh uniquely constructed is maybe how i should put it you know because it it is mostly prefabricated almost all of it's prefabricated isn't it Okay, so they've taken them out. Okay. One last thing to worry about. So let's get up here and get our research documents. I think we have to be careful. Don't some punks jump out here? Oh, it's those ones. So it should be okay if we just dash over here. Move along. Because we're still getting attacked and stuff, aren't we? Get on the podium! Yeah, okay, are we, are we done? Is that it? Was that literally it? Oh god. Got all that effort just for that. Okay, but let's get out of here. Or at least move to get out of here. I think I think we're done. We might need to come back, I guess. They did a surprisingly good job of protecting these guys though, to be fair. Considering there's only like four agents. I don't know if they're invulnerable that or, or what the deal is, but we did do a, a really good job. But that's that, hooray! We actually did it, without dying this time. Brilliant. Oh, okay, this is an interesting one. Uh, save over that one.
Oh, should have should have given them brain freeze before I saved them. Though. I see everything in terms of mods, but we've still got a few things to research in terms of weapons. Nothing really that useful though, it's just the odds and ends really. But if we can get this one done, uh, that's an extra 2 million credits possibly. But uh, yeah, let's read through this. So this is interesting, we play this map as the Syndicate, but we don't uh, we don't have anything to do with this area, we have to go up here and uh, what was it, persuade uh, an executive of some sort. This one's pretty interesting as the, the church though, because the maps, or like what happens on the map is a lot different, because the focus is a lot different to the, the Syndicate map. You're still fighting militia, but we're no longer in like that top corner. I don't know, I don't know if the guys with clone shields turn up in this version as well. Bloody hell, that's a lot of civilians. But yeah, we're going to go for the, the money. I did right click there. Why are we not shooting more people here? Like, there's a handful of them. I mean, was I just playing really badly there or was that the game? Because that seemed like the game... Because we should have shot them a lot quicker than we did. They usually would have. But okay, um... So I'm thinking... This should maybe take 12 missiles? 12 rockets? Maybe? Yeah, there we go. And will there be more uh, cops once we've, once we've brought down the building? Is that here? So I think what we'll do is we'll clear out these guys. So if you notice actually there were a lot, a lot of unguided over here so I think they must have all, uh, they must have turned them unguided, the church guy. The church guy must have turned them unguided, then the militia were deployed and then they've killed them all. Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm not gonna say we're the good guys but like the, it's like the Syndicate and the Church are just two sides of the same coin really, it's just different world orders if that makes sense, they're still not very nice people, whichever side you're on. Unless you're the unguided because Visic does seem, well, I don't want to say he seems like a good guy but he seems 
uh, how does it describe it? He seems more human. <laughs> That's probably the best, worst way of describing it than the uh, the nine or the heads of Eurocorp. Because he has some degree of compassion. And concern for the the order of people. Oh Jesus Christ, look at those bombs. Wow, look at that. That was about a 12 on the ridiculous scale. So I'm thinking maybe they put bombs next to the cars because they're expecting me to use the car. Well, next to the car, sorry, to because they're expecting me to use the car to get into the facility. But no, no, I'm just going to blow that door up. I'm going to make there's, there's another car there, so. You know, if I remember correctly, we actually have to go over here. Oh wow, look at this one. Once we get the item. Yeah, so that is them, that's not me. Because normally if they saw a... As soon as they saw the guy, they would be shooting at him, wouldn't they? So I swear, like, sometimes the AI just, like, flips out. And just decides not to do what it's supposed to do. Or, like, the controls. Like sometimes they'll decide, yeah, yeah, we're gonna shoot this guy like you told us to, and other times it's like, no, can't be bothered. Okay, and that's it. So, was the weapon we're supposed to be collecting just, uh, nuclear grenades because don't we have those already or aren't we re researching those just now wow fucking hell look at all that lot that's insane Look at all that. That's a lot of guys. So this must be like the biggest fight or biggest battle in the game. The, the maybe there's there's the one with the unguided where you're like in the syndicate campaign you're trying to retrieve Drennan. Uh and there's just like oh okay, there's a bunch of guys. There's just like this whole wave of unguided. I mean, that's not really a battle, is it? It's just like a wave of people. I think that's... This battle we've just witnessed is probably the biggest confrontation between two sides, though. Especially since the sides seem to be about equal. Uh, I wonder what these guys are up to. They're just standing there with rocket launchers, apparently. Okay. That was pretty good. Okay, this one's a bit annoying. If I remember it correctly. Uh, let's just make sure everybody's got everything we need.
And we've all got. Oh no, we've not all got hell kits, have we? My bad. Yeah, the difference is they have that different symbol, isn't it? Like the the points coming out. If it was a, I was just thinking, have I got regular med kits by mistake? But no. Because if they're regular regular med kits, it would just be the the cross symbol, not the like the little lines and the uh, sticky out pointy bits. Yeah. I don't know what I'm on about. Oh, okay. This one's in Saudi Arabia. So we can convert agents on this one if we want to, if we're able to. I don't know how many civilians are actually on this map actually. So that's a pretty good line. It, it is the Nine's holy wish that this arsenal is buried forever beneath the desert sands. Very poetic. So this is just a destruction mission. It can be a bit annoying though, because I think there's like a little bridge here that you cross over to get onto the the main area, and at some point in the mission, after you've destroyed the facility, a random militia guy will appear and just drop a bomb there. Uh, and if you let it go off, like if you don't notice he's going there, you can't get back across to finish the mission, and you have to extract, which is really annoying. Initiating drone connection. It's one of those missions with like the the little annoying bits, like uh, what was the other one actually? There's another one as well. Uh, I just played it earlier. Oh, uh, yeah, the the Drennan one. Bloody hell! Look at this one. Why? Why is one of them equipped with? Persuaded wrong. That is not what I clicked on. Wow, that's a lot of guys in a car with guns. Okay, so there are a lot. A lot of people on this map. But no syndicate agents actually. Yeah, that's annoying. Okay, there's a researcher. I think what I used to do is just blow the whole facility up. But obviously that's gonna kill the researcher as well. So we won't do that. We are getting quite near the end though. Are there any cars on this map actually? Like how are we supposed to get into this building if not destroying the walls? Wow, well, we'd have to, wouldn't we? There's no cars here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Is that the car with the guy with the, the bomb? No, he's just got razor wire. Yeah, so I think the other guy must just randomly appear, like, just he must just spawn in. Wow. A lot of those guys have long range rifles. Ok, 
Okay, my bad. Seems like it's about 12 missiles or 12 rockets to destroy most buildings. Which is pretty good when you think about it, because like, at the moment, today, it only takes about one rocket to blow up most buildings. Oh wow, what's that? That's weird. Those red lines. Not seen that before. wonder if that's supposed to indicate something. So let's be careful. Um, we have to make sure we don't let somebody get onto this bridge to blow it up. Like I said, I think he just spawns in, so there's not nothing we can preemptively do. Okay, he's stuck in the wall. It's kind of nerve wracking because I don't want like to uh, take my eyes off of that the area at the back, uh, the the where the sanctuary. Sorry, because I know somebody's going to come in there and just like get us. Oh, okay, that's flamers. Wow, what is that about? Can we drop this out of structure without? the scientist. I'm guessing not, but let's see. Oh okay, yep he's still alive. God damn it. They did it didn't they? While we were over here. Time to restart. Oh, okay, that's both of them. But like that, that couldn't have been more than like 30 seconds that I took my eyes off of the bridge and it was gone.
mean, maybe what we'll do is we'll just plant a bomb, a, a bomb, a, a bomb. What the hell is a bomb? A bomb. Plant a bomb to bring the wall down. To try and trigger the the car that comes around, or comes over, and, and is it? Did they drop a bomb or what do they do? Screw the scientist. Selected. Nope, that didn't do anything. On the bright side though, at least we've made sure their wall is very secure. I don't think it was close enough to be fair. Take out that car while we're in. I don't get it, what's the trigger point? Could it be this lot then? Could it? Wow, it's so weird that like we don't seem to be able to shoot them from there. Okay. Because that was a massive trap. Let's kill this car actually while we're here. So it could well be that other set of bunkers then. Maybe it's not this place. When you think about it, it is really cool that your agents can take, or your, your zealots can take rockets to the face and still have loads of health. I mean, it's, it is a bit unusual, you know? Whoa, okay, how do we get him through with all this shit? Because these guys are notoriously farmable. Don't catch fire, don't catch fire, don't catch fire. Okay, what is going on there? Okay. Ready. 
Okay, wrong button. Whoops. Did that trigger them? No? Okay. So I feel like we should be able to... Maybe we should do it free then. Yeah, I don't know. Rather than full. Obviously you want to protect the scientist. Not the end of the world if he dies, but it would be nice to have an extra scientist. But then, if only take two of them, that's not really enough firepower to do very much. Oh, wrong one. Ready. Ready. Yeah, maybe we'll do this as a compromise. Because to be fair, Selected. if we just plant a bomb, a bomb, a bomb, uh, we can take out the building and be next to our recovery point by the time the bomb actually goes off potentially ready ready hopefully If I remember correctly, the car that comes down with the militia in to blow up, blow up the uh, the bridge actually lands on the sanctuary side, not the uh, not this side. Oh, okay. There we go. Why was the car with a bomb then? Or is it just a case of which order you do it in? Depend, uh, decides whether or not the car with the bomb appears. That's a bit weird. Interesting. Oh, okay, this one's pretty good. We have to rescue Disaxo. This is the sort of the start of the, the changing how you think. Like you try to save her, or you have to save her, but then the nine turn on her. And it seems a bit disingenuous the way they turn on her. But yeah, we'll get to that. Uh, 